Folks, by far, the thing I think is the coolest about the new uh, W Premier Pro CC 2015 is the fact that you can clean up video with this new morph editor or morph cut uh, tool. So I'm going to show you kind of what it does. And I watched the um, Adobe tutorial on this, and I'm going to see. I'm going to test it myself and to see how it works. So what I have, I have a piece of video that I recorded here, and I, I purposefully put lots of ums and ands and pauses in it. So let's watch a little bit of it. Bland, what do I think is the best new feature ever with the new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015? Well, um, I would say it's the fact that you can get rid of... So you see, I purposefully did that kind of foolishness there. So what I have here, I have some jump cuts. And you'll, you'll if you watch over here, you'll see some very slight um, places. And I try to move my head around a little bit, have different expressions on my faces, see how this smooths these things out without having to put B-roll on. So let's take this a look. 2015, I would say it's the fact that you can get rid of pauses and mistakes and it's a jump cut editor you know when you have pauses let's look at another one here to b-roll what does that mean it means you can use a transition now and you can get rid of parts of the video where there are awkward okay so there are little jump cuts there you can't see them uh, as as bad as sometimes when i'm interviewing people but constantly I'm having this contrary. See, I have this down to like 40 seconds, I think, is what this is. 43 seconds. And this whole bit here, if I pull it in, I think I got 56 seconds is what I've got selected. So I cut a lot out of this. So let's take a peep. Let's go over here to the uh, effects. Let's just go over and type in morph, M-O-R-P-H. And there's morph cut. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on the timeline here so I can see I'm going to drop these morph cuts on. And uh, the, the tutorial that they did on Adobe's site, they bring these down to about 15 seconds. I think you can right-click on it and set duration here. And you can just say uh, 15 seconds, I mean 15 frames. So I'm going to say 15. I'll do the same thing they do. And that should have brought it down to 15. Let's just double-check that. Set transaction. See what it did that very well. We'll say cancel. So 16 frames is what it defaults to, it looks like. And that may be because it's pulled in some of my defaults. A lot of times I'll use 16 frames. I'll do the same thing they did there. I'll say 1.5 here. And I'll drag this morph cut onto everything. Set transition, 1.5. So I'm going to fast forward to the end of this so I don't have to bore you with all these morph cuts. Okay, so I have set all of these to 15 frames. And you can see these little red spots here. That means it's going to have to render these out. It looks like it may have already done it while I was setting the other ones here because the red's gone away from each of these. And so you see these things disappearing. That means that it is going ahead and doing the renders. So it's doing pretty quick. We should be able just to, to till the end to this frame. And let's watch it close. Uh, looks like it just finished up. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to hit tilled. And let's, uh-oh, my bad. I'm going to click on this uh, window. I'm going to hit tilled. Tilled the key is above your tab key on the left. And let's see if we can see how smooth it does. Hello, folks, in YouTube land. What do I think is the best new feature ever with the new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015? I would say it's the fact that you can get rid of pauses and mistakes. And it's a jump cut editor. You know, when you have pauses and bad places in video, you can smooth these transitions out now without having to go to B-roll. What does that mean? It means you can use a transition now and you can get rid of parts of the video where there are awkward or strange pauses without having to put B-roll over the top of them. And so this is the way that you do it. Now I'm going to tilt back out. So I could see just a little bit of flutter in between some of these. So let's go ahead and like, let's peep at a few. Just right down at pixel level here. Let's just kind of go over a little bit here and let's see where, that, where this takes place. And it could be that when we render this out, you don't even notice it. I barely see anything going on there in that one. You see how it's just a little bit of flutter right there. Let's go back to this one. So this looks pretty great. And watch my mouth here. What this does, according to uh, what I read with the Adobe, what I watched in the video demo that Adobe did is it actually morphs where my mouth is in one and then to the other and it smooths out that transition. Now, I, the, in times past, I've always put B-roll over these where I have cuts, jump cuts. In other words, I put some other piece of video, like say I had a bad spot here, 
and I might go get another piece of video over here or something else. I say I had some driving video or something, I'll put that driving video over the top. But not so anymore. Now I just I think I could probably use this in most instances to great effect. It might be that it even works better if you make it even shorter transitions. So I'm looking here's one where my head was moving. I don't think I could even see any movement there between the cuts. So it puts artificial frames in that are in between the uh, the frames that are here and here. I mean, there may be a second or three quarters of a second or something difference here. And uh, that's pretty amazing. i got to say, this is my favorite new thing. I'll probably use this feature more than almost anything. I'm going to go ahead and render this out and put it at the tail end of this video. And let's see for sure how it looks. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, subscribe if you like. I'm going to be going over all the new things and probably do a whole new series of tutorials now that we have a, a nice 2015 version of uh, Premiere Pro CC.